All right, David here. So I'm going to do an update and a review on this uh, 1955 Lionel that I've been working on for a little while here and let you know where we're at. So originally I got this, uh, I cleaned it all up. I used uh, my awesome orange here to clean the body and the engine and it came pretty clean. Uh, I was considering painting this and then decided no, it would just be a bad idea because it won't look right and also if I was to paint it then I don't know how I would put the uh, the road number on it again that's out of my skill level so I decided to just leave it as is and uh, it doesn't look too bad it has it looks authentic and you know period correct so that looks fine the uh, cow catcher here on the front actually this is a separate piece here over to here which unscrews so I did take this off because it was uh, in pretty bad shape as far as the paint goes so I actually took this off sandblasted it and painted it and uh, it's a slightly different color but I think it looks just fine so um, I'll show you how to take this apart just in case you need to uh, take one of these apart to work on so it depends on how much you need to get to but basically take apart the uh, sorry about the hand there the drive rods here and it depends if you've got to take this all the way apart on the scratch or not how much of this you need to get to and then you got to hold those wheels so in other words to get the engine out well, okay that came off you can leave these on or not it doesn't matter um, so I take the drive rods off this front wheel assembly here got one screw there hopefully you can see this so that's how that comes apart it's got the, the coupler on the top and you put those two pieces together put that underneath there screw that in Get the screw out of there okay uh, the front wheels the pilot wheels here um, there's two screws these screws should be slotted to be correct but uh, this is what I could find so take those off this assembly comes out so if you've never taken one of these apart and can't figure it out um, that's how this comes apart so there's the wheel set that I got a at a train show and I got this at another train show so basically you have this that slides on the back and then when you slide this together that keeps it in there and you put the screws in and it stays there so that's how that front pilot works and the other one uh, there's a pin here on the side let's see that's the best way to do this I'm still on the camera let's see if you get so I'm just using a little pin right there a little tap course if it's been in there for 50 years it might be a little more difficult to take apart so then the pin slides out and then there is one screw in the top here by the bell so we take that one screw out it goes in right there and then your motor comes out now the reason for this pin here if you did not remove that pin what's going to happen is the switch here for the reversing unit is going to get stuck in here and bend that up so you do want to take that pin out or else you're going to mess up this reversing unit so I did another video so I'm not going to go into detail but you know there's two brushes here and your commutators underneath that so you got to clean that stuff make sure the rest of this is generally clean this is what's called the E unit or the reversing unit and what happens is when you start the locomotive you know from zero power and you put power to it, it 
clicks the relay and there's a, a cam or a wheel in there that spins each time you apply power to it and as that spins there are metal contacts on it which determines which direction the motor is going to turn. So that's how the motor works. I'm going to put this back together and then finish this video here. Also I have this spacer that I need that's going to go in here because that's just a piece of uh, tubing which doesn't match. So that's what I'm going to work on. Uh, I was trying to get this coupler on here and uh, I attempted to solder it and what happened is what I thought would happen. The solder stuck to the frame here, no problem at all but it would not stick to this. Uh, this is pot metal or aluminum something like that so the solder doesn't stick to it. So I got some epoxy that says it'll stick to metal so we'll try a little epoxy and see what happens. I get a popsicle stick and cut the end off of a pair of wire cutters to make it uh, straight. I don't know if you know this or not but you see these caps Cap's got a little point in the top. That's how you break the seal on that. Took a Q-tip and cut the ends off, and I'm going to stick that in here. And what that does is that keeps this piece down and out of the way. <clears throat> so I put a little clamp on it here to hold it, and then, like I said, I got this stick in here to hold that up. And I guess that's going to have to dry for several hours maybe overnight. So we'll see how that works out tomorrow. I'm still debating I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to take this all apart and paint this chassis here. I think I might do that. Now I'm working on the caboose um, and one of the couplers was not working right. It was broken. The spring was broken in it and I tried to repair or fix that and I cannot get that spring back in there for anything. Uh, I watched the video on somebody doing it and uh, I've met my match on that so uh, fortunately at the last time I was at a train show I bought uh, this one here for a couple dollars and that is going to generously donate a coupler which I have right here a working coupler with a good spring in it so I pulled it off the old truck here and I was considering using this actually one of these wheels I think is bent so uh, um, so I pried the coupler off and cleaned this up and I got some my epoxy here this seemed to have worked out on the uh, the tender because I had to do the same thing well actually I had a good coupler for the tender it worked but it just fell off. So I used this epoxy on there and it seems to be holding okay. So I'm going to mix up some epoxy and stick this coupler in here and uh, hopefully that'll work. So I'll let you know when I get it done. Alright, so I got some epoxy on this here on the coupler and uh, I was a little generous with it. So I need to get a clamp to, uh, to hold that and that's going to have to dry overnight. So I think that'll work. Uh, it worked on the other one. So I got the coupler glued on there and it looks like it'll hold. Um, just a little bit of epoxy. Hopefully that'll hold. And there you go. 
go. So the coupler's working good. Drop a fresh oil on the axles since I had to clean this up. These screws here are what's supposed to be in there. I took them off of the other caboose. So that looks a little bit better. So I need to find the, uh, the railings and the ladders that go on the end. I found everything else so far, so eventually they'll turn up at a train show. So that's where we are right now.